What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. Guys, this video is by request, so please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next. I would really appreciate that. Let's get started. So this first route he's going to be running here, he's going to be in the slot, obviously. He's going to be running a corner post. Now, the main thing I want you to see is how well he sells this with his eyes. Your eyes are going to tell lies. Sell this corner for three steps, then break it back off to the post. Let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he takes kind of an inside release, restacks this guy three steps to the corner, sudden stick, then gets up to this post, catches this ball over the top. Russell Wilson gives him some good air, and then it's a touchdown. So the main thing I want us to see here is when he gets to this position, obviously he's taken this inside of this DB, okay? He didn't try to go outside and go corner and then go post and have him on his back hip. He took this inside right here, restacked the DB, and he kind of rounded this corner. So as you can see right here, foot in the ground, this right here, this could be a stick or you could round this thing. And he's going to take this corner up for three steps to sell like he's going the corner route and he's going to give the quarterback his eyes, okay? That that's how we sell a double move like this, guys. So he's coming out. One, two, three. Sudden stick. Now, the main thing, he's looking back with his eyes. He commits his shoulders to the corner. Now, what does that get the DB to do? That gets the DB to commit his hips as well. He doesn't want to get beat over the top on this corner. He's not just going to sit inside. He's manned up on this guy. He's playing man with him right now, so you've got to give him your eyes. Your eyes are going to tell lies. Give your eyes to the quarterback. Three step stick here. Head and shoulder movement. He's exploding off this inside arch. This is what I mean by sudden feet. We've got to be able to just put our foot in the ground at the drop of a dime and be exploding off this break. As you can see right here, he had hands on him, no longer has hands on him because he's exploding out of this break. And now let's accelerate out. Let's gain some more distance from this DB. That's a great job by Tyler Lockett using his eyes, committing his shoulders to the corner and beating these two DBs on this corner post. That's a great job using his eyes. Again, let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming out here. Restacks him, one, two, three, sudden stick, explodes off that cut in the ground and gain more separation than he got at the top of the route by accelerating out of the break for a great job. Okay, so now he's going to be running a comeback and go here. Main thing I want you to see is how fast his feet are, how fast his hands are off the line of scrimmage, and how well he sells this vertical, okay, and how well he sells this comeback ultimately. Let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So one, two, three, head and shoulder movement, eyes to sell the vertical, runs out of this comeback, stick, and then we're bursting up field. So, main thing off the line of scrimmage. His feet never go outside of his frame. We're gonna, I'm going to say that a lot in this video. His feet never go outside his frame. His feet always stay about shoulder width apart, right? The main thing that gets him separation, the main thing is his head and his shoulder movement, guys. So we're going to watch. He's going to be taking three steps. He's going to give a little hesitation step with that first leg. Then he's going to go left, right. So we're going to watch here. Hesitation, one, two. Now, you see his toes are straight forward. It's underneath his frame, right? But look at his head and shoulders. His head and shoulders are outside, right? Get, goal maybe to get this db to jump outside open up this gate so he could take an outside release he did his job he got this db sitting inside that's what we needed him to do head and shoulder movement to the inside now let's take the outside release and again being physical we got to have a plan for our hands and look how explosive of a pad level position he's in he's not standing up tall smaller receivers we can't be in a very tall pad level position because that's how we're going to get knocked off of our block against a much physical db so we got to stay in an explosive pad level position fight in these hands get those hands off now when he's going up He's running stride for stride with this guy. He's going to tell lies. That's what you need to do. Look back to this quarterback. Then he snaps it down in and out of this break. So he snaps down with this right leg. And then his second and third steps, four, five, takes him five steps, angling him back down on this 45-degree angle. Now, what selling this thing with his eyes did is got this DB to start running. He doesn't want to get beat over the top. So he's thinking, oh, crap, I'm not going to get beat over the top. I better kick up into second gear. Lockett's a fast guy. So he snaps this thing off five steps in and out of this break. Now, he commits his shoulders and he actually runs out of the break you see a lot of guys snap down and then just do a stick this is another way you can run it there are many ways to skin a cat right he could have just snapped down right here and put this left in the ground stick and then burst up field but he actually decides to run out of this thing for three steps here and now what that does is he wants to jump this route corner wants to jump this route he commits his shoulders to this comeback on this 45 degree angle selling like he's actually running out of this break and he's going to do it another time in this video we're going to show you later in a clip sudden stick and then he bursts up this is some of his best college film some of the best route running in college it's a great job by tyler lockett working that comeback and go let's watch this thing full speed one more time so head and shoulder movement quick steps off the line of scrimmage keep your feet underneath you and then burst up field let's watch this thing full speed so one two three head and shoulder movement sell vertical snap down run out of this thing stick Get that DB to undercut it, get him to overcommit, and then we catch this ball over the top. So now he's going to be running a fade here. Now, initially, he wants to take an outside release. DB plays this thing really well off the line of scrimmage, right? So we got to be able to react in the route, okay? We can't just 
come up there with one move, and if that move doesn't work, we're screwed. We're going to give up on the play. we got to be able to react throughout the route and react to what this DB is going to throw at us. So let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he's coming off here. DB plays it well, but he reacts mid-route. Now he gets back on top of him and catches this ball. So off the line of scrimmage here, he gives a little bit of a hesitation, hesitation, jab to the inside. Now, again, feet stay underneath his frame. That's a very explosive movement. Small receivers, we got to use our ability. we got to use our size to our advantage, right? So we can be explosive because we're lower, lower center of gravity, right? Head and shoulder movement to the outside. This DB is staying pretty disciplined, staying here, keeping a good base, takes away that inside, shuffling with him. That's a good job. But what Tyler Lockett understands is, okay, he beat me. i got to have a plan. Let's get his hands off of him, right? He committed to the outside. Let's see, he committed those hips a little bit, right? So let's attack the back of his wrist. That's a point of control and get his hands off of us with his hips open to the sideline, opened up that gate. Now I take an inside release. I'm in that blind spot right here, right? He's going to be forced to speed turn out of there, and I like my odds with him no hands on me, and I know where I'm going. So what he does here is he gets vertical. Now he does a good job. He wants this ball, calling for this ball, restacks the defender so he's on his back hip, and then the quarterback's going to do a great job of giving him this ball, leading him upfield. Now again, showing late hands. He did, This DB is going to be playing those hands, so if he would have showed those hands early and went up for this ball, especially on a fade, he would have played those hands and might have been able to make a play on the ball but because he shows those hands late right there that's a great job that's a great job showing those hands late so this db has no chance to make a play on that ball catches this thing and then he bursts up field for a big game let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming off the line a little bit of a hesitation jab to the inside so him jab to the inside head and shoulder movement react mid route react we got to be able to react off of this db then catch this ball then go score so now he's going to be running a dig right here now it's a little tough to see this release but this is the first step of this release as you can see very explosive position his weight is on the inside part of his his feet and his head and shoulder movement is to the outside. Let's watch this thing full speed. I'm really going to focus on the top of the route here, guys. So gets this DB jumping outside, has a plan for his hands, in and out of this break as fast as possible, snaps that head back around and catches this ball. So off the line, we talked about this. Keep your feet underneath you, head and shoulder movement to the outside. That's what's going to get this DB to jump. So as you can see, we get him outside, right? That's the whole goal of head and shoulder movement. We want the DB to go one way when we got to go the other. It's that simple. It's not rocket science, guys. Too many people think that it's rocket science. It's really not that hard. You give him a move to the outside when you want to take inside. You give him a move to the inside when you want to go outside. It's really not that difficult. The mechanics of it is when it gets a little bit more difficult, right? But that comes from reps upon reps. Now, what does he do here? He had a plan for his feet. He had a plan for his head and shoulders. Now he needs a plan for his hands, right? So let's fight these hands. Let's pretend like this DB's got crap underneath his fingernails and we don't want him to touch us. And he does a great job of seeing this right shoulder, dipping this right shoulder so this DB can't get inside of his frame and knock him off of this route, right? Dips that right shoulder. Now this DB's trailing with him, running striper stride with one of the fastest receivers in probably college football at the time. Now when he's running this dig, I want you to see how explosive his hips are. Drops his hips right here. He snaps down with the left leg. One, two, three, four. And he's in and out of this break. He's accelerating out of this break. And he snaps his head back to the quarterback because he knows the ball is going to be right here. That's what we got to do. Least amount of steps possible. And we got to be in an explosive position with my hips. So he snaps down here, bringing his chin to his knee, right? That's how you change direction fast. It's like a 40 yard dash. You don't want to start at the, you don't want to, the first 10 yards, you want to be in that explosive position. First five to 10 yards, you want to be in that explosive position. Same thing on a route. You want to drop these hips. One, two, three, four. Four, and he's pushing off this inside arch. DB doesn't have hands on him because DBs aren't going to be able to change direction when we're selling vertical like he does so well. Everything is the same exact speed. Everything's a fade until it's not. Snaps that thing off. Now it's a race to the ball. Ball's out early. DB does not have a chance. When you run a good route, quarterback gets the ball out early. It's going to be a completion every single time if, if everything goes right besides the point. But if we're going to have a shot. Every time we're able to sell vertical, make it look like a fade, get in and out of the route, least amount of steps possible, accelerate out of the break, quarterback puts this ball on time. That's a big play by Tyler Lockett. That's a great route. That's an advanced route. Off Starts off the line of scrimmage, having a plan for our feet, head and shoulders, and our hands, selling vertical, in and out of the break, least amount of steps possible, and accelerating out of the break. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming out full speed, one, two, three, four.
in and out. Four steps, not seven steps, not beating the drum, taking 20 steps. That's a great job by Tyler Lockett. Okay, so now he's going to be running that same comeback and go here. Main thing I want you to see is this DB's in a little bit of a catch technique. He's about five yards off, right? So we got to close the gap with him. If we just try to go right there right now, what he's going to do is just wall us into the sideline, and we're not going to have any room to work. So we got to close the gap with him, try to get him on his heels, and then take our outside release because we do have a lot of space to this sideline, so we just don't want to go there right now. So it's Watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. Closes the gap, gives him room to work, break down, run out of that thing, and he's bursting up field, catches this comeback and go for a big play right there by Tyler Lockett. So again, what did I say? Close the gap with this DB. Get him on his heels. That's our goal, right? Get him on his heels. Rocket steps, jab to the inside. Again, head and shoulder movement to the inside. Get this DB maybe thinking I got a speed turn out of there, but we're trying to explode up into this route. And we can't spend too much time right here because it's a longer developing play. Quarterback's going to be dropping back. We got to just get up into this route because it's a downfield play, right? So he gets up into this route, selling vertical right here again. Looks back for the ball, a little bit of a peak, trying to get this DB to overcommit, and then he snaps it off on a comeback. You see how this DB has to react. He's thinking, oh, the ball's coming right now because he sold vertical so well. He undercuts it. Tyler Lockett runs out of this thing for three steps, and then he bursts up field again. What I'm t this is what I'm talking about. Selling vertical, snapping down, running out of this thing, three steps, committing your head and shoulders to the comeback right here. That's a great job committing to the sideline getting this db trying to undercut it make him get greedy and then we burst up field with about 10 gonna get 10 15 yards of separation that's a great job by tyler lockett selling this comeback and go running out of this break that's a great job closing the gap off the line of scrimmage advanced route running even when he was in college a little bit a while ago that's a great job let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming off here burst up Snap it down, sell the fade, run out of it three steps, gets that DB to undercut it, and then catch this ball over the top, and let's go score. Okay, so now he's going to be doing an open field crossover, guys. So we're going to watch this thing full speed. He's going to be running like a seam route right here. Quarterback does a good job of getting this ball out early. Let's watch this thing full speed. So coming out here, rocket steps, one, two. Quarterback gets this ball out. Catches this ball in traffic. In traffic, guys, we've got to have strong hands on this catch. So he comes off the line here, right? Catch technique, right? Man coverage, we know this. He's not pressing him off the line, so we got to close the gap. Now, how does he close the gap? He runs right at this DB. And now when he's here, he's given these rocket steps. Rocket steps where you go fast hands, fast feet, like you're beating the drums. So rocket steps, rocket steps, one, two. Keeps his base underneath him, right? When he makes that one, two, he goes one, two. Nothing reaches. His feet don't reach. The only thing that reaches, quote unquote, are his head and his shoulders. That's where we need to go. We need to keep our feet underneath us, stay explosive, but our head and shoulders is what's going to get this DB to jump inside or jump outside. And then we get him to jump here. He gets him to jump outside, cleats out of the ground in this position, and he's exploding off this inside arch, and he's bursting up into this route. Ball was thrown a little bit behind him here, and he makes a catch in traffic. And again, when we're in traffic, guys, got to have strong hands, okay? we got to go up for this ball strong. We can't go up with a weak grip. We can't have a weak grip to this ball. He goes up strong hands, catches this ball in traffic, puts that ball away fast, right? Catches this thing in traffic, let's put it away. Don't let anybody knock this ball out. That's a great job catching in traffic. I think all receivers can learn from that. That's a great job using this open field crossover to get some separation off of these rocket steps. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming out, fast hands, one, two. Head and shoulder movement, let's burst up. Catching traffic, violent to the tuck, that's a great job. So again, here's another example of an open field crossover. Catch technique, right? Man coverage, eyes are on him, we know that, okay? We're thinking man, we're thinking man all the way, right? So he's going to come out, let's watch this thing full speed. One, two, again, now he's just running a fade, catching traffic, go up, show those hands late. That's a great job by Tyler Lockett. Let's watch, let's break this thing down. So, Wants to close the gap with him, right? Wants to get him on these heels. That's how we're going to get separation. If we could get him on those heels, any move we do, if we're explosive, if we get head and shoulder movement, we're going to get some separation, guys. So he comes out. Same thing. Rocket steps, right? Fast hands, fast feet right here. Fast hands, fast feet. What does that do? Gets this DB on his heels. That's the whole goal of that. Those rocket steps get him on those heels, and we're able to make a move. So rocket step, rocket step, one, two. And again, look at these steps. Open field crossover, right? He's just playing basketball. One and then two. 
Nothing outside of his frame, but what is moving? His head and his shoulders. Gets this DB jumping outside. That's exactly what we needed to do. Got to get that guy jumping outside. So one, two, get him jumping. Let's burst up field. Let's look back for this ball. Now, quarterback under throws him. He's got to go up and high point it, catching traffic, right, showing those hands late, and then puts that ball violent to the tuck. That's a great job going up and high pointing. That all starts with the separation that he got off the line of scrimmage with those rocket steps, that double move, open field crossover, head and shoulder move is going to get you separation guys having explosive feet head and shoulder movement exaggerating that that's what will get you separation but we got to be explosive let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming out here one two gets him to jump inside let's go up and high point this ball for a big catch so he's going to be running a deep post here main thing i want you to see again are his eyes okay this is not too crazy of a route but he gets this db to turn his hips completely by just his use of his eyes and this is how we use our speed to our advantage because nobody no db wants to get beat over the top no db doesn't have a little bit of that fear where oh, i don't want to get beat over the top they all have it and when you're fast they're really going to be afraid of that so let's watch this thing full speed eyes over here to the outside gets his db to force the speed turn and i think we're faster than a db on a speed turn all day long so he's coming out here full speed throughout the route you see he doesn't change up his speed before he makes this break he's coming full speed everything is the same speed right He's going full speed every single time. The only time you want to change up your speed, guys, is maybe off of a release or when you're running a fade route and you kind of want to lull this guy to sleep, right? There are other situations, obviously, but what – any basic route, any kind of post, any kind of dig, we never want to change up our speed. We just want to go because when we change up our speed, throws up the timing with the quarterback. The quarterback's expecting us to go full speed every single time, and that's what we need. So he's coming off here full speed. His eyes are looking outside, and he gives head and shoulder movement when he makes this stick, to, as you can see right here, to get this DB to turn his hips. That's the whole entire goal. Get this DB to turn his hips against zone coverage, and he's running out of this break. He doesn't slow down in this position. He's pumping those arms. He knows Russell Wilson's going to give him some air on this ball which he does lets him go run it down and lets him go make a play that's a great job by tyler lockett using his eyes to again tell lies that's a great job let's watch this thing full speed one more time so he's coming out eyes to the outside head and shoulder movement gets that db to turn forces him to speed turn catch this ball downfield great job by tyler lockett all right guys i really want to thank you for watching i really appreciate it guys please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys next time